funeral costs are rising, savings slumping. For a growing number, that means pauper's funerals. But not all will provide a service, allow memorials or return ashes to bereaved families. To Dad, I really miss you, but I'm glad you're not in pain anymore. I will love you forever and I will look after my mum and my brothers. Lots of love, Jack. Ten-year-old Jack lost his father last week. He left priceless memories but no money for the arrangements. A pauper's funeral could mean two strangers in the same grave and no headstone. They spent thousands at a local undertaker's to avoid that. Thousands they simply don't have. I, I couldn't bear it. I was trying to imagine what it would be like and the only word that I can describe it is just cold. To just be like disposed of in that way. Um, just shocking. Huh? There's the cost of living and the cost of dying. And if there's nobody to pay, councils have a duty to provide a pauper's funeral. Our research shows how they're on the rise and how very basic many have become. 300 councils across the UK responded to this ITV News Freedom of Information request. That reveals a 70% increase in pauper's funerals over the last three years. We were told of just over 15,000 people getting a pauper's funeral last year. But there are limits to what's provided. Several councils, including North Somerset, don't provide a service for the bereaved, saying no family members can attend. Some, for example Southampton, say ashes are not returned to the family. Others, including Telford, say the grave cannot be marked with permanent memorials. People deserve a dignified funeral in whatever guise that may be. This funeral director believes our findings reveal an increasingly inhumane system. It is a postcode lottery whether you're allowed to attend a service or whether you're not told when it's going to be, whether you're allowed to have somebody's ashes and have a really meaningful service or whether you never really know where, you're, where your person is. Councils call them public health funerals and say that though budgets are overstretched, arrangements are respectful and dignified. Some areas do better than others, but speaking anonymously, one council worker told me how bad things can get. The funeral doesn't take place straight away, so it's having that person waiting for up to six months, knowing their loved one is in storage, not having access to them like you can go to a chapel of rest. The only way this family avoided a pauper's funeral is by spending almost £4,000 with a local undertaker. They've no idea how they'll pay. Just imagine if it was like your mum or dad or your son or daughter and you was in that position where um, you didn't have the funds to bury them. Just as they say goodbye to a much-loved father, a big new debt will enter their lives.